Capricorn Moon. Welcome, thank you so much for joining me here in beautiful Balmoral Beach in Sydney, Australia. I absolutely love this place. I spent the whole afternoon here. It is getting quite dark, so I'm really gonna have to hurry because the light is disappearing quickly and I have to get home and my home isn't anywhere near here, so I've got some travel to do. Um, I've been here and the sun came up over here and it's just dipped down behind that horizon line there. And as a result, I've had to put on my warm gear and, and rug up here. So I am going to take you through two things in particular. So we're going to have a look at future opportunity. And we're going to have a look at past that you've got to deal with as well. So what's going on with the future? We've got Mars and Rahu sharing Gemini from 7 May 2019 to 22nd June 2019. That's happening in your sixth house. Okay, so, oh, fantastic. Oh my God, this is so wonderful. Capricorn Moon, you are a winner. This is great. You Even your past thing's good as well. Oh, I've got good news for you. You're in Sadi Sati, I know, but this, these are good transits. So I'm very happy to deliver some good news for you. So this is a time to build the new. This is time to go, go, go. Um, you can conquer enemies with this Mars Rahu transit. You can beat the competition. You'll be seen, you'll feel energetic, your health should be good. Build the next platform up in life. <coughs> Absolutely. Especially in your career. Go for that promotion. Go for it. With these energies, go for it. Build, build, build. Go for it. Go big with that. And your Jupiter retrograde in Scorpio till 8 July 2019. This is great. Great for success. Good luck. Creativity. Great time with children. Could meet a partner. Okay. Uh, might even meet an old flame, especially for ladies. Jupiter's in retrograde, right? Covering old ground. So basically there's some old ground from Jan, Feb, March. That period of time, you might see some things of that period of time that we've just had, Jan, Feb, March. You might see some of that repeated in the coming months, okay? So, but it feels like that's going to be good. It doesn't feel like that's going to be bad. Next door to this Jupiter retrograde, you've got Saturn K to conjunct. So through old things, old things past Saturn Ketu, new light is coming through. So look out for new illumination in your sense of spirituality. That's so beautiful. Perhaps you might download some past life information or you, you might realize something through your dream state or through your meditation. Uh, if you're quite the meditator, I know my meditation practice has been going strong. I've been really enjoying it every single day. I missed a day when I was in Singapore. Uh, I've been doing it every day for some months now. I'm really gaining benefit from it as well. So I hope if you haven't started a meditation practice Capricorn Moon, you might like to do that with some of these good energies, especially you've got Sadi Sati going on. Look, I mean, I think a meditation practice would be great if you can uh, at this time. The other thing I wanted to say and that I've been saying to all signs is that if you're stuck in quite a lot of past, then build the future. Put your energy into the future. Put your free will into the future. Start building tomorrow. Get that going. Those of us who are actively building the future are going to be fine over these next few months. And that's really a strong message that's come through to me that I'm sharing with all of you. So Capricorn Moon, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I thought I'd share with you this beautiful scene. So I was sitting just over there on those rocks and this is the whole scene. Isn't it stunning?